Our visual world is full of repetitions. Here are some examples. However, in reality, the repetitions are never perfect, and there are various variations between repeating structures at different scales. Small-scale variations, such as the bumps in the brick wall, the curvature of the corn kernels, or the exact pose of the dancer's knees. Medium-scale variation, such as the spacing between objects, or large-scale variation, such as their alignment in rows. In this work, we show how, from just a single image as input, we can automatically reveal and modify these various deviations from perfect recurrence. Using our method, we can automatically reduce the variations between similar structures, thus produce an idealized version of the input image that has stronger repetitions. Alternatively, we can exaggerate these variations and highlight differences that are hard to spot in the input image. Next, we describe the outline and intuition behind our algorithm. We assume that for every input image i, there is an ideal image j, in which all the repeating structures are very similar to one another. Our key assumption is that by applying some transformation t on the input image, we can idealize it and bring it closer to the ideal image j. However, we don't know the ideal image or the transformation, and we want to estimate them given only the input image. This is an ill posed problem, and to solve it we place a strong prior on j that lets us define the following objective function. The first term, the recurrence term, aims to make every patch in J as similar as possible to many other patches. The second term, the fidelity term, aims to make the transformed input image similar to J. The last term is the smoothness term on the transformation's parameters. This results in a non-convex optimization problem that we solve using alternating minimization between the transformation and the ideal image. Please refer to our paper for more details. Our formulation is quite general and can account for different types of variations. Here we focused on geometric variations and color variations. In geometric mode, the transformation is a dense flow field, and by applying it, we make the repeating structures more similar in shape. In color mode, the transformation is a dense color correction matrix, and by applying it, we make the repeating structures more similar in color. Inverting the transformations reveals the variations. Next, we show a sample from our results. Our algorithm allows for structures to repeat at arbitrary locations and multiple scales. Therefore, we can handle natural images with complex deformations and multiple textures. Here we make the zebra stripes straighter and more uniform in width. By exaggerating, we reveal small bumps that are hard to see in the input image. These zoomed-in patches demonstrate the effect of geometric correction and exaggeration on this image. This image is a painting that tries to give the illusion of 3D structure. Here too we can correct and exaggerate large-scale variations such as the width of the stripes and small-scale variations such as small brush strokes. In this example of an image of a brick wall, our method can reduce the variations of the bricks and align them into rows. In the exaggerated image, the bumps in the bricks are revealed, as well as their misalignment in rows. The dancers in this example all seem very similar at first glance, but in fact there are a number of variations between them, such as change in pose, irregular spacing, and differences in height. Our method automatically corrects for all these differences while keeping the dancers' individual identities. Here we show the exaggeration of these differences. In this example, our method is used to detect material defects. What you see here is an image of soap bubbles assembled on a surface. The irregularities in the bubbles pattern is used by scientists to study materials behavior. By flickering between the input and the exaggerated image, we reveal local point defects as well as global irregularities that indicate tension and compression on the surface. In our ideal image, these irregularities are removed.
We next show our results for color variations. In this example, the lizard has slightly different color from the background, but still consists of similar texture. Therefore, small patches on the lizard are compared with patches on the tree's bark. Our exaggerated image highlights the color variations between the lizard and the background. In this example, there are nine tomatoes. A few of them are fresher, as they were purchased five days later from the rest. Can you tell which of the tomatoes are riper? Our method can reveal this by color exaggeration. The revealed purple shades indicate riper tomatoes. Using our simple GUI interface, users are able to easily explore the variations in an image by using the exaggeration slider. Additionally, the user can filter out coarse deviations.